Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. I've got the uh, eBay listing that I couldn't resist. Bunch of these little one watt LEDs. And here is the eBay listing. I paid a whopping dollar and sixty five cents for twenty one watt LEDs. And on these LEDs, they came equipped with heat sink. There are three little positive markers and three negative markers. And of course, the positive is voltage and negative is ground. On these uh, power LEDs, the problem with buying them from eBay is you never really know exactly who the manufacturer is. You don't know the voltage rating. You can go by the description. And if you don't have that, generally these power LEDs are anywhere from 3 volts to 3.8 volts. 3.2 volts is a good starting point. They're generally run usually around 350 milliamps. If you put 350 milliamps in there, it's, you're pretty good. You, won't, you shouldn't burn anything out. I soldered uh, red on the positive and the black on the negative, just a little 22 gauge wire on there. And I'm going to light it up and see what this thing looks like. Power supply I'm going to use um, is one of these little power supplies. You can pick them up on eBay for a few bucks. I got this one on Amazon. I paid ten dollars for it. You can the eBay listings usually, if you they haven't had these for a little while, but you can usually get them for five dollars or less on eBay. And they have an amperage adjustment and a voltage adjustment. So I'm gonna hook this up to the voltmeter and make sure we've got 3.2 volts and 350 milliamps. Okay, I've got this hooked up to my voltmeter, and I've got a 12 volt little gel cell battery I'm going to be powering it from. Plug that thing in and getting 3.28 volts. I'm going to kick this thing up to 3.4 volts. And we'll check the current. All right, I've got my meter hooked up. We're pulling 300 milliamps right now. And with this, how do you adjust these things is you just hook the ammeter right up across your voltage probes. And that goes into constant current mode. And then you can adjust your current. We'll bring this thing up to 350 milliamps. Here we are, and now we'll try the LED. Now I'm going to replace the voltmeter with the LED. I'll point it away from the camera so it doesn't mess everything up. And it's got some pretty good light output. Okay, now when we're adjusting the current, I don't know if this is the way it is for just in China or what, but when you adjust, usually any pot you turn clockwise, you increase whatever you want to do. It's voltage or like on a stereo, when you want to increase the volume, you turn it clockwise which works on this, you turn it clockwise, the voltage goes up. It's the exact opposite on the current. I don't know if they just had one of these uh, screw it, ship it moments where they just let it go with it turning clockwise or counterclockwise, the opposite direction. If you turn it counterclockwise, it increases current. If you turn it clockwise, it decreases current. It's not a big deal, it's just a little, a little annoyance. Okay, I soldered four of these LEDs in series. 
and I'll hook these up at 3.4 volts and 350 milliamps and you can see nothing happens that's because each one of these has to have 3.4 volts in order to work even if you go with just two that doesn't work so we're going to have to kick up this thing 3.4 3.2 volts we're going to need to kick the voltage up to about 12 volts okay I hooked the voltmeter up to it so we can watch the voltage come up and watch these LEDs turn on. We're getting 3.45 volts right now. We're going to need to crank her up until you start seeing the LEDs come on. Should be around 12 volts. Isn't it? And the LEDs just start turning on at about nine and a half volts. They're very dim. Turn this up to ten. Up to eleven. And up to twelve volts. Huh. That's all we get. This is not such a good power supply here. Only goes up to 11.3 volts at that amperage. Okay, that was really stupid of me. This is the limit of a 12 volt battery. You cannot get 12 volts out of the switching power supply. I continue to forget that. It's only going to go up so much because you only have so much coming out of the battery. If we want it to get up to 12, we're going to have to kick it voltage on the get a power supply that kicks out about 15 volts. But we'll stick with our 11.32 volts. That should be good enough to explain what's happening here. And we're pulling 350 milliamps still. But you see we're going to need about 12 volts to turn on all four of them and I plan on actually making another one in parallel so if we add four more in parallel we're going to need about 700 millivolts so if you remember our Ohm's law our voltage can be parallel voltage will remain the same about 12 volts but we're going to need twice as much current because we're going to add twice the load. Well, I just wanted to talk, mention a word about heat sinks. Even though these are soldered on to these little aluminum heat sinks, which is nice, if you're going to have the light on for any length of time, they are going to get hot. So it's best to mount them to an aluminum chunk like this or another type of heat sink and I'm gonna to have to redo my wiring this is just for testing purposes but I plan on videotaping the light that I'm gonna make I'm gonna replace this strip light under the cabinet it's warm the strip lighting is warm white LEDs these are daylight LEDs which will give me a lot better light uh, just a word about buying things like this from eBay it works for experimenting it works for if you're gonna just do this for your own lighting system here in your own lab or wherever but you really have no idea when you get these from China from eBay you have no idea the quality of them you have no idea what brand they are they could possibly mix brands on you so if you're wanting to do this and actually make a light that you're gonna sell eBay is not a good place to buy that stuff you I don't know these could be factory seconds they for all we know they could have swept them up off the floor and put them in a bag and sent them out there's no telling so 
eBay is good for experimenting. Not so good if you're going to make a business out of it. If you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing a lot more, not only LED videos, but other electronics videos as well. And thanks for watching.